have arrived in Sydney. See you bye. continue with the video I wanted to quickly share my new pins from GSJJ so GSJJ is a website where you can create your custom pins, custom stickers, custom lanyards, honestly different kinds of variety of products that you want to customize. For me, I decided to make two different types of NML pins. I designed these myself. One I just designed based off like this clover and another one I just copied a picture from Pinterest and I just wrote my name on it. So if you want to customize something and add your logo, your brand name or anything, you can use the site to custom it super super easily. They have more than 20 years of manufacturing experience. They also have free designs available if you're not an artist yourself or if you're kind of lazy to create a new drawing yourself. But the process for me was super smooth and really easy for me to create these custom pins. You guys can use the online designer platform that they have on their website and create your own design in such a such an easy simple way. There's up to 30% discount for animal pins right now and you guys don't have any minimum order required. So if you just want to make a couple for your friends as a gift as well this is the perfect website that you guys can use so this is the first design that i have it's a little clover and another one is this cute little mushroom and i also added my name on it as you guys can see it is amazing quality using these pins i've been decorating different bags my pouches and honestly any anywhere just to kind of add a little design to the product that i already have just by adding these little pins onto bags or like pouches it just makes it so much cuter and more unique so this is the clover design i added some checkered pattern inside and some like darker green in the background to make it kind of 3d aesthetic and then this design I just found a little mushroom design on Pinterest and then I kind of just made it my own by adding my name crystal park with a heart on it so if you guys are interested in creating your own customized pins or other types of products that you want like keychains um, lapel pins stickers you can create them all here in such an easy easy way I feel like some other platforms it's like kind of hard to create because you have no idea how to follow the process but this website it is so easy to follow and you can actually create this in less than like 15 minutes if you guys are interested make sure to check out the description box down below for more information and hope you guys decide to make a cute little customized pin just like these time to grocery shop Guys, can I just say this is this is the cutest mushroom in the world. <laughs> okay, now we're in the snack section so that I can try some Australian snacks. Look at this pumpkin. Watermelon. Guys, in Australia there's a rip-off version of TJ Maxx and they call it TK Maxx. What? Lucas, do you want to say hi to the vlog? We got some burger rings. We got some hot chocolate for this man. <laughs> we got some thyme. Is it thyme or thyme? Thyme. Thyme. Oh my gosh, so excited to try this. This is truffle brie cheese. Oh, I got some coffee capsules. Another one. I cannot live without coffee. And then, oh my gosh, we're gonna make a charcuterie board. So we got some crackers, prosciutto, a salami <laughs> as well. <laughs> He's so happy right now. I got him this little necklace and I think he likes it. Two avocados. We got some migorangi. And then some nisin. So that is everything from Cole. Definitely like, you guys got the weirdest <laughs> assortment kind of shit. <laughs> Today is Sydney day two. I was supposed to wake up like pretty early and go to brunch like at 11 a.m. But I went back to sleep. So right now it's 12 and we're still gonna go get lunch at this area called Cornella. So go get ready, get dressed and I'll take you guys along. Right now it's not raining, but it's definitely gonna rain later. It's very cloudy. 
but it's okay at least it's sort of sunny right now so let's stay positive and not be too sad that it's gonna rain sydney day two we are ready to go so excited to finally get brunch food in australia i heard their brunch is pretty good so let's go Toast, but they can just do plain smash abo on toast. What's the difference? Uh, it's just not gonna have this extra shit. Oh, okay. Should we get that? Can they do eggs on toast? Yeah, me also. Because right now it is freaking 1 p.m. So I ordered a iced chai latte. Taste test. It's like a coffee of the day. You literally <laughs> woke up an hour ago. <laughs> oh, I'm not a fan. <laughs> How was that like milk tea at all? It's definitely like milk tea. It tastes very like floral. Jasmine milk tea vibes. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is not aesthetic. Okay, here's a failed attempt of getting brunch, but we got an avocado toast with some egg. Got both. I kind of want to get this off for um, when we make out. The sun's going away already, I can feel it. Made it to the Cronola Beach. After we getting ready and changing my outfit, we headed to the city. The clouds were actually so insanely pretty on the way. Australia is actually so blessed with pretty skies. I could tell we were in the city from these pretty buildings passed by Town Hall Station, where I was just so busy looking around how pretty the streets were, and then walked to Darling Square area where once again kept repeating, oh my gosh, so pretty. We decided to go to a restaurant called Dopa where they have Japanese rice bowls with unique toppings. I got one with salmon and added some egg, but honestly, I don't recommend this because it was literally just rice and salmon without much taste. But anyways, we walked to the Darling Harbor and ended the night there. All right, so I made it back home. Today was a really eventful and fun day. Now I'm just gonna do some work and rest because tomorrow we're gonna go to Bondi Beach. I'm super excited. So I'll see you guys tomorrow as well. Good morning guys! Today is day 3 and today we are going to Bondi Beach! I'm so excited. Today is actually sunny so before it gets kind of gloomy again, we're gonna do a beach day and it's probably gonna be too cold to get in the water but hopefully I'm able to tan a little and soak up the sun. So we're currently packing and then we shall get going. <laughs> I got that in video! <laughs> Okay, what is our agenda for the day? Yep, so we're gonna go get some fish and chips, find a good spot on the beach to kind of camp out, eat it, um, you know, tan a little bit. And read. Yeah, yeah I might go to the in the water actually, it looks pretty nice. Yeah. But I'll see. Okay, <coughs> let's go. Oh, and a side bowl as well. Oh, keen. 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 Do they have that in Creole? Yeah, but it's like oh. kind of gross, like it's not that good. Let's go. Let's get it. <laughs> Wait, you should do one of these. Yeah. <laughs> Oh wait, <laughs> and then shh. I'm so happy it's not raining. Alright, the fish and chips is secure. 
ordered. Hi. Hi. <laughs> now we are walking back to the beach and we shall eat our fish and chips. came to Bondi Beach. We're just chilling, tanning, and it's kind of cold when the sun goes under the cloud, but it's so pretty. I am so happy to be here. <laughs> Why is your posture like that? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm literally just lying. <laughs> so straight. The dead man has risen. Yeah. Alright, I guess we are hopping in the water. You gotta come one down at least. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're so cold! <laughs> Dude, I don't know if I can do this. Oh my god, you're so cold! <laughs> done with our beach um it was a little cold but really really nice i would actually love to retire at a beach maybe like bali hawaii or maybe australia but yeah we're gonna head back and just eat dinner at home and i'll see you guys at home all right we're gonna be trying on some clothes Australian dream. It's just a fucking picture of a back row. <laughs> Hi guys, so we made it back home. We're actually cooking dinner for, I mean, we're cooking dinner at home today. And we took Lucas for a little walk. It was actually really cute and wholesome. And it was so cute. It was kind of like my first time walking an actual dog. Okay, that sounds weird, but it was <laughs> like, I'm not used to walking them, but it was really fun. Fun. Now I'm so ready to eat, so let's get cooking. But first, we eat some watermelon. Welcome to our cooking channel. Okay, I think we're gonna go cut up the mushrooms first, crush up the garlic, and then we'll season the steak. Normally, I'll season the steak first and let it sit, and then cut up cut up the mushroom. But I think for the for the video, yeah. Hi guys, this is Chef Wong here, and I'm just um, gonna walk you through some of the steps that we did to cook this amazing steak. Putting some butter and putting some mushrooms on the butter. Watch the flip. Ooh, chef, big good flip. Just sauteing the mushrooms. Yeah, for the mushroom sauce, we put um, just a fuck ton of cream, mushroom obviously, some Worcestershire sauce, some chicken powder actually, and then you just let it rest, get it all bubbly and shit. And then we got the fries, <laughs> the french fries. Do you guys prefer wedges or fries? Me personally, I like, yeah, I like wedges more though. Oh, we got the uh, garlic queen. <laughs> So yeah, we're just cutting up the garlic so that we can add it to add it to the meat to give it some extra some extra flavor, you know what I'm saying? Frying the fucking steaks now, trying to get it get a nice sear but failing. <laughs> we thought we'd do better on the second one, but we actually did worse. <laughs> And then we're adding thyme as well to the butter and garlic. Yeah, it makes it actually makes such a fucking huge difference. I get it right most of the time, like a nice medium rare, but I was just a bit camera shy. Okay guys, this is Chef Wong signing off. Uh, have a great day guys. Oh, and I almost forgot, don't forget to like and subscribe to Crystal's channel. I'll see you guys tomorrow.